Hello guys, welcome to you. In this video, we are going to fix Windows 10 start button is not working. It is a very easy and simple process. I give the multiple solution to fix this problem and I hope one of these solution is work for you. The first solution is restart Windows Explorer. Just go to the taskbar, just go to the taskbar, right click on the your taskbar and here we find task manager, just go to the task manager. If your taskbar is not working, then I give the multiple solution on your, our screen. Just use one of this solution. I just pressing control alt delete. You can press anything. I just press control alt delete on my screen and here we find task manager also just click on the task manager okay now here we find windows explorer just find windows explorer just find windows explorer right click on windows explorer and just restart windows explorer okay it's restart your all services all things taskbar start and your start button is now working okay this is the our first solution the second solution is also very simple we just go to the restart our pc so we are just restart our pc the first way is just press ctrl alt delete on your screen and here we find button power button just click on the power button and restart your machine that is the our first solution to restart okay the second way to restart just close the all application close on or open on your pc just close all applications okay just save it all application then just press alt f4 just press alt f4 just press alt f4 on your screen and it's ask you to the shutdown or restart or sign out okay just do the shutdown or restart and just restart your machine and your problem is solved the third way is very simple just go to task manager right click on the taskbar just go to task manager in task manager we find file just click on the file and here we find run new task just click on the run new task here just type shutdown space black slash r i give this in the description just type this or paste this and just click on the okay now it's asked you to close then just close it now wait for a few seconds or few minutes and it's automatically restart your machine now your machine is restarting the now your restart is completed after restarting just check start button is working or not it is working if it's not working then i give the another solution another solution is very simple refer the missing files or corrupted system file by the checker tools okay we just go to the our task manager once again and this time i just go to the here file and run a new task and this time i just go to the powershell or just type powershell just type powershell and check this part i want the administrator i am opening powershell with the administrator by clicking the checkbox and click on the ok now powershell is open now in the description in the youtube description or the description i just give the some command just copy the first command paste it at here and run the first command then just do the second command just run this second command copy and paste and just wait for completed and then restart your machine and your problem is solved so i just go to the third command also it's a long time now just go to the, now just go to the last command now our process is completed now just type exit just type exit and hit enter now just restart your machine and your problem is solved if this solution is not work for you then i give the another solution another solution is reinstall and re-register all built-in windows apps that is very simple just go to your taskbar right click on your taskbar and just go to the task manager in task manager just go to the files just go to the files and just go to the run new task okay and just go to the powershell and just click on this administrator check this as an administrator okay now just click on the okay now our powershell is open now in the youtube description i just give this command just copy this command just copy it and just paste this command at here and just hit enter key this command is take long time so be a patient and wait for some time just hit enter key if you just hit enter key and it's take long time it's take long time and after that just restart your machine and your problem must be solved next solution is very simple we just our update our windows if your search bar is working then just go to the search bar and just type at here update windows just check for updates just check for updates and if any update is available or any update is available checks for updates and just updates your windows that is our solution if this is not working for you then the next solution is just go to the taskbar just go to the taskbar just go to the task manager 
in task manager just go to the file run new task and just go to the powershell just check this and just click on ok in powershell just type these commands one by one and install your windows manually or update your windows manually just type this command first then this second command at the, this point ok this second command then third command this third third command then this fourth command and then fifth command okay just step by step these five commands and install or update your windows and your problem is solved the next solution is also simple solution is just windows in place update just upgrade your windows without losing the data i just go to the anyway browser and in web browser i just type windows in place upgrade just open the first link first link is from the microsoft microsoft windows just open that link in this link we find watch the video below okay just watch this video and just follow the steps given by the microsoft windows 10 and just upgrade or in place upgrade just in place upgrade your windows and this is solve your problem completely so guys this is the multiple ways to fix this problem in windows 10 so guys thank you for watching this video don't forget to like share comment on this video and don't forget to subscribe the channel thank you guys